Hey y'all, my name is Christian, I'm a millennial, and this is the Millennial Mind. Millennials get a bad rap for being lazy, non-productive members of society. We also get told that our opinions are warped and don't matter. This podcast is designed to express a point of view on the world as a whole, but from a millennial's perspective. I will talk about love, current events, pretty much everything that comes to mind. Come join me on this journey on Speaking My Mind, and I would love for you to speak your mind as well. Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of The Millennial Mind. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey of speaking my mind, and I hope that you are speaking your mind as well. And speaking of you guys speaking your mind, you guys really had a lot to say um, about the previous episode pertaining to T.I. and taking his daughter to do a hymen check. (laughs) Um... Uh, a lot of you all were against it. So uh, I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you so much for your comments. Um, thank you so much for um, your well thought out responses. Um, I, I just really appreciated it and I read them all. So so whether you supported T.I. in his time in check or whether you were against it um, and you expressed it, that's really um, why I created this podcast is for people to speak their mind and it be a judgment-free zone. So thank you guys again for expressing yourselves on that topic. Well, I am excited again about today's topic. I feel like I say that for every episode. Um, But when I be trying to find topics to talk about for the podcast, it just usually comes up, you know, out the blue. Um, And I'll tell you what I'm talking about. So I know that you guys have seen um, the article pertaining to People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. Okay, Um, so the title of this podcast episode is Sexy or Nah. (laughs) Sexy or Nah. Um, And we'll get right into it. So as you know, each year, People Magazine, they award um, a man as having the title of the sexiest man alive. It's a prestigious award through People Magazine that I don't believe you get any money for. Just the title is enough. And then you get your picture plastered on um, People's Magazine cover all over the world. So People Magazine, they do this every year, choosing a man to be the sexiest man alive. What I didn't know is that they use certain factors to determine the winner of this prestigious award. And I'll say quote unquote prestigious. Now I'm thinking that the people choose who the sexiest man alive is. But um, I guess it's um, the board on the board of People Magazine or some kind of committee that chooses who this, who this person would be. So according to a 2010 interview with ABC News, Larry Hackett, People's Managing Editor at the time, I'm not sure if he's still there or not, um, tried to debunk some myths surrounding the annual decision. We know it has to be a mix of someone who's hot but well-known. Not too young, not too old, and somebody who, frankly, maybe we haven't thought of. He continued, sexy certainly has to do with someone being good looking. and has to do with a certain kind of romantic, flirtatiousness, 
physical appeal that may be beyond just academic appreciation of the way they look. We want some mystery in our sexiness. In 2012, USA Today interviewed Julie Jordan, a senior writer of People, and I'm not sure if she's still the senior writer of People, but at the time she was. Um, and she added, we watched these guys over the year, and someone always bubbled to the surface. It's a matter of looking at the whole entire year. She also stated that they pay attention to comments on People.com, and they ask female celebrities to pick their favorites. So, mostly, the individuals who win this award are mostly in their 30s, white, and have just come out of a huge Hollywood project or have an even bigger one in their queue. Like, for example, Chris Hemsworth won one year, um, and he was given the title after recent success with his Marvel movie, Thor. Um, also, Adam Levine won, and he won during his reign as a judge on The Voice. In 2012, it was Killing Tatum, um, whose movies 21 Jump Street, Magic Mike, and The Vow all came out that year. Um, and I looked at the most previous years, like the two most previous years as to who won the title. Um, Idris Elba, he won last year. Now, just a little side note with Idris Elba. So, me and my husband... We have um, a little play thing that we do um, where we offer each other a pass. <laughs> this is horrible. A celebrity pass um, so that if we ever meet them and like freak out and do something that's not marriage material, <laughs> we get a pass. <laughs> so... His pass is Jennifer Lopez. My pass is Idris Elba. I love Idris Elba. Like it's it's not an it, it's not an obsession, but I think if I would ever meet him, it 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 would be a hot mess. Like for real. Like like it's real bad. So, Idris Elba, he won last year. Blake Shelton was 2017. I don't even remember that. Does anyone remember that one? That, that must have just flew over my head with, with Blake Shelton. So, we had Blake Shelton in 2017. Idris Elba, 2018. Who was this year's winner? So, People, People Magazine came out with this. I believe it was either yesterday or the day before yesterday. So, this year's Sexiest Man Alive was John Legend. So, I um, read the article on it, and I'll just read an excerpt of it for you. John Legend, a man so talented, he became one of only 15 stars to achieve EGOT status last year. If you don't know what EGOT is, that means he won an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tommy. Um, he's also making history yet again. The 40-year-old singer has now been crowned People's Sexiest Man Alive. After taking home his first Grammy in 2006 with his debut with his debut, <laughs> with his debut album, Get Lifted, the star began, began a steady ascension to superstardom while using his voice for good. Unabashedly in love with his wife, Chrissy Teigen, and a doting father to their kids, three-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Luna, and 18-month-old son, Miles, legend has become one of Hollywood's biggest stars while remaining as down-to-earth as ever. So it's no surprise that The Voice Coach, whose deluxe edition of A Legendary Christmas is available now, had a mix of emotions when he first heard about his latest title. 
I was excited, but I was a little scared at the same time because it's a lot of pressure, the entertainer tells people in this week's cover story. Everyone's going to be picking me apart to see if I'm sexy enough to hold this title. I'm also following Idris Elba, which is not fair and it's not nice to me. With a buttery voice and unparalleled musical skills, the star who entered the University of Pennsylvania at just 16 years old says his mother, Phyllis, a seamstress, was his first and biggest fan. Whenever we had opportunities to sing in church or in school, my mom would suggest that I do it, he says. He always encouraged me. But most importantly, legend says his parents, including his dad, Ronald, a factory worker, taught him to remain humble and kind. My father taught me about character. He taught us by example. He always conducted himself with such grace and dignity, he says. My parents always taught me that if you're going to succeed in life, part of success is having humility. It's a good way to live life, treating other people the way you want to be treated. And now with his gorgeous family and an endless list of accolades, the star is happier and more confident than ever. I'm so proud that I have a wife and two kids I'm so in love with and so connected to. I'm also so proud of my career, he says. I love writing songs and performing on stage. I get a lot of joy from it and give a lot of joy to other people. I'm pretty at ease with myself now. So I said I was just going to read an excerpt. I just went on ahead and read the whole article. (laughs) So John Legend is the sexiest man alive for year 2019. And what were people's reaction? Well, he did say in the article that people would pick him apart, and that's exactly what happened. It seemed like there were more negative comments on it than positive. So I went on Instagram and Facebook and just looked at some of the comments after People Magazine made their announcement about John Legend. Um, A lot of the comments on People's Magazine pages on these social media platforms were, nope, thumbs down, really? The biggest mistake of people. Um, one One individual said, I love John Legend, but every time I look at him, I think of that cartoon character, Arthur. <laughs> oh, another individual said, um, did we run out of men? Others posted pictures of people they thought were more worthy of the award. Um, some people put down Kanye Reeves. People um, posted Idris Elba again. Um, Other people put Jason Momoa, which if you don't know um, who Jason Momoa is, he was in Game of Thrones as King Drogo, um, and then he played Aquaman more recently. Um, So there were a sea of negative comments. Um, In that sea of negative comments, you could pick out like the positive comments. Of course, John Legend's wife, Chrissy Teigen, um, I love her sarcasm, by the way. <laughs> I just love her sarcasm. It just be like right on point and real sharp. Um, but Chrissy Teigen, John Legend's wife, um, commented, I cannot wait for people to get mad about John being the sexiest man alive. It's my new Starbucks holiday cup. <laughs> she is so funny. <laughs> oh, another individual said, His person is what makes him sexy to me. He seems like such a genuine, sweet soul that adores his family. Wonderful example of how to be a great man, wonderful dad, and an amazingly supportive husband to a strong, outspoken, bad woman. Now that's sexy to me. Hashtag to each his own. Another individual commented, Look at at all these comments. No wonder nice guys finish last. John Legend is an amazing husband and father. He is talented. 
He is an awesome provider. Yes, Chrissy makes her own money, but still. He is intelligent. He is not ashamed of, of his family status. That is sexy. Chrissy knows it. So, and, and you know what? I, I want you to take some time to actually look at the comments that um, are on Facebook and Instagram for People Magazine's um, announcement of John Legend being the sexiest man alive. Like, it's more negative than positive. I'm like, what is going on? Like, everybody's view on sexiness looked looked to be a little bit warped. Um, and I'll get into that in a minute. But first, I want to take a break um, so that we can hear a word about our sponsor. This podcast is sponsored by Anchor. Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. It gives you everything you need in one place for free, which you can use right from your phone or computer. Creation tools allow you to record and edit your podcast so it sounds great. They'll distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard everywhere even on platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and many more. You can easily make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Once again, you can download the Anchor app. That's A-N-C-H-O-R. Or go to anchor.fm to get started. Welcome back. Um, Thank you for listening to the ad. Um, If you're thinking about doing your own podcast, make sure to check out Anchor and it will help your life. (laughs) Okay, so getting back to um, this episode... So, as I was saying before we took our break, um, it seems like everyone's view of sexiness is warped. So, I looked up the definition of sexy. Um, According to the Merrill-Webster Dictionary, sexy means generally attractive or interesting. It doesn't say anything about being necessarily physically physically attractive specifically. But just in general, attractive, so generally attractive or generally interesting. In our society, we have come to believe that someone being sexy is objective, but it's actually subjective. So people think that just because they think someone is sexy, everyone else think that they're sexy and vice versa. Like, for example, I think that Idris Elba is very sexy, but I may talk to a different person and they may say, well, you know, I, I, I don't think he's all that sexy. Now, for me with Idris Elba, the sexiness is not just his looks. That's maybe, honestly, that's 90% of it. <laughs> If I'm being honest, that's about 90% of it. Um, But the way he talks, you know, he got the accent going on. um, And he's actually involved in a lot of charitable work. Um, So so he's a philanthropist. So there's a lot of things about him to me that embodies the definition of being sexy. But some people now, they'll get mad at you if you debunk their idea of sexiness. And that's not what sexiness is. Sexiness is very subjective. Um, Beauty and sexiness is in the eye of the beholder. So one person's view of sexiness is completely different from another person's view of sexiness. That's just how the world is that's what makes us different and unique we all have different views and opinions 
um, not only has has our view on sexiness become subjective, but or objective, I should say, we have also come to believe that sexiness is only based on looks. I say that sexiness is not one dimensional, but it's multi dimensional. There are other facets to sexiness other than looks. These facets could be their personality, how they treat others. Um, in my case, since I'm a Christian, how they worship God. Or also like me, how they clean up a house. <laughs> Don't judge me. Do not judge me. But you may have your own facets as far as what qualifies as a person to be sexy. Um, so it, it's not just looks. Um, there are other factors involved to determine whether or not someone is sexy. So my goal is to look at John Legend as, I'm, as a multidimensional person who is more than just his looks. Sure, you know, John Legend... You know, he may not be um, cute on the level of Idris Elba and Jason Momoa and Alan Levine to certain people. You know, his cuteness may not be on that level for certain people. But John Legend, he's more than just his looks. I mean, just look at what he's accomplished. You know, he's a married man, a happily married man. Okay, that not just Mary, but he seems to be happy. You know, that's hard to find. He's a wonderful father to his kids. He has two kids. And let's just talk about he has the EGOT status. Okay, you know how many people have that status? It said it in the article, 15 people. Out of all of the actors and actresses and singers that we know, only 15 people got that status. Okay. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. That is huge. That is huge. Like, if my husband won, won that status or obtained that status, he'd be getting laid. <laughs> honestly. Honestly. Let's be honest. He'd be getting laid. Okay? <laughs> so... Um, and, and you know what? And, and, to, and, and clearly his wife thinks he's sexy, you know, or else she, I'm sure she wouldn't have married him, but I'm sure she appreciates everything that he does and looks at him as I, as a multi-dimensional sexy man. So, so there's more to sexiness than just the physical looks. If we looked at everyone with this multi-dimensional view of sexiness, how many sexy people would there be in the world? Like, I've met some people who are beautiful on the outside, but just horrible on the inside. So, but our world view of sexiness is because that person is a model on the outside that's sexy. And we we definitely need to change our viewpoint because physical looks, first of all, they don't last long. They only last for a season. And then second of all, beauty and sexiness to me comes from the inside out. If your outside looks good, but your inside is horrible, like what benefit are you to the world? None. You're just, you're just good looks. And, and that's only for a period. Honestly, I would like to be a person who, you know, not just pretty on the outside, but just have the inside beauty to match. The inside beauty and sexiness to match. That's what, that's what actually turns me on. Um... To give you a little bit of history without spilling everything pertaining to my husband. So when I met my husband, um, the, the first thing I did not look at were looks. Because I had done that before and it didn't work out for me. Okay. 
what what really turned me on pertain to my husband what really um, um, got me thinking that oh you know this man is you know pretty sexy was the way he communicated his thought process the way he carried on a conversation um, if you would ever meet my husband he's very intellectual like I call him like a Britannica encyclopedia <laughs> Because, because he's very knowledgeable about a lot of things and the way he, he expresses it is, is very intellectual. And that's one of the things that I love him for. Um, so that's what caught my eye um, the first time while meeting him. Well, I shouldn't say the first time, but after I got to know him, um, I'm like, oh, this man is sexy. Um, so I actually was engaging in multidimensional sexiness and didn't even know it. But, but yeah, beauty and sexiness is more than just the outside. It's inside personality, accomplishments. Um, if our view of sexiness is objective and if we feel like it's objective, and it's based just on looks, we have a problem. We have a huge problem. So I thought more about um, the idea of sexiness and came up with my own definition. You can create your own definition, but this is just mine. So sexiness to me is the subjective idea that someone is attractive or interesting based on numerous factors such as looks and personality that's my definition the subjective idea that someone is attractive or interesting based on numerous factors such as looks and personality so what's your idea of sexiness what's your definition of sexiness are you okay with John Legend being the sexiest man alive? Does he embody that title? Or do you feel like it should be some di something different? Let me know. Email me at mindofmillennials at gmail.com or you can express your comments on our Facebook page, The Millennial Mind. Make sure you like that page when you get the chance. Um, also... This podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, and Pocket Cast. Make sure you subscribe. Um, also, um, just saying in the future, I do have something planned for um, the month of December. Um, I want to... Um, just show my love and gratitude to the listeners and then I, I feel like I'm in the giving spirit so more information will, will be coming out about that um, in, the, in, in the next couple of episodes um, but thank you guys so much for listening um, I really appreciate it let me know your thoughts as always and before we leave I just have a quote um, that you could think about feeling sexy is a result of being comfortable and confident in your skin, not the other way around. The definition of a sex symbol shouldn't be just the obvious. When sexiness is backed by poise, elegance, purpose, and substance, it becomes most powerful. Okay, guys, thank you again for listening, and until next week, I will see you soon.